Hey there, so my name is Hallam and uh, I'm here to learn about the Raspberry Pi. Hope some of you guys can uh, teach me some of this stuff. Um, however, I have a problem in that um, while I think I am still very young and all the females who I work with tell me that I still look as young as I used to look then when I was riding my little bicycle, um, unfortunately, the Caribbean Science Foundation tells me that it's not about how young you look or how young you think, but how old you are. So I'm a little bit too old to join this course, so therefore I'm hoping to learn from you guys through the back door all about the Raspberry Pi. Now, a lot of people use computers, and when we use computers, we think about usual stuff, games, um, you know, going on YouTube, watching movies, um, learning, um, studying a lot of stuff, um, doing research for our exams, um, writing our assignments, communicating with our friends, get more information, and then go through um, what's happening at school and, and friends and girlfriends and boyfriends, etc., etc. But also, it's about learning and education as well. But I'm not a computer geek. So what I try to do is to try to figure out how can I use computers uh, to benefit me and I let the computer geeks tell me how to do that, how to put all the bits and pieces together. Now, when we think about computers, we don't think too much about what is actually powering the computer. So coming back to the Raspberry Pi, we don't think about what is going to power the Raspberry Pi or what's going to power my laptop or my desktop. But that's very important because without electricity, you know, nothing is going to happen. The monitors are not going to turn on, the computer is not going to work. And today, increasingly, people are not thinking only about how can they use the electricity that comes from their home that's in a socket to which they have a plug plugged in, but also how can they use this energy from the sun, yeah? Because that's a lot cheaper. Um, you don't think, get any electricity bills from the man in the sun and then you're plugged into him once everything is working fine and you can afford to have your system up and running then everything is cool you just your lights work as if they were you're paying for them from you like the power, like the power your computer works your monitor comes on your screens come on etc 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 but um so that's cool one thing is that we know that we can use the sun's energy now for a whole lot of purposes for technology and computing and all that sort of thing uh, to run our Raspberry Pi for example um, but what do we actually do what can we actually do with this and all this energy that we have can we make money so that's something that we want to talk about today we want to look at essentially how the technology works uh, all the bits and pieces but we also want to think a little bit about what can we do with this energy how can we make some money how can we get some money from um, our moms and dads and, and, and you know get them to pay us some money and you know they can be paying us some money to design some nice little gadgets and cool gadgets and a lot of stuff that you can learn on Raspberry Pi or something else. So let's have a look at energy, um, how it's put together, what are the bits and pieces and then let's think a little bit about how can we use this energy now to make something happen, to make some money and to make our lives a lot more happy. Hey there and welcome. In this very brief tutorial what we want to do is achieve two things. One, we want to basically explain to you how renewable energy works. And secondly, we want to explain the three types of renewable energy systems. So we have a demo kit which was assembled by myself and a company called AMP Sales. They also have a, a department called On Grid Off Grid Power Solutions. And we're basically using this demo kit for businesses, for children, just for anybody who wants to try and understand or have an interest in understanding how renewable energy works. So, very clearly you can see that we have a panel. So everybody knows what a panel looks like. It's that uh, rectangular uh, piece of equipment to the right of our demo kit. Yeah, and attached to that, in the a blue box, is actually a battery charge controller attached to the battery charge controller, you have cables going into a battery, attached to the battery, you have an inverted, the inverted is this orange rectangle uh, box, so to speak, and you can see the various outlets where you can plug in an uh, iron uh, refrigerator, washing machine, and do all those things you like to do with energy that you have harvested from the sun. So how does this actually work? 
well, the panels, of course, they harvest and collect the energy from the sun. Remember that when you're collecting energy from the sun, it's coming in in the form of DC energy. So, again, depending on how efficient or how sophisticated your battery charge controller is, that battery charge controller will do two things. One, it will protect your batteries from being over or over um, capacity. You know, it, it make sure that they don't be overcharged. And secondly, a very efficient battery charge controller will result in very efficient storage of energy. So you'll be able to store much more energy from your panels if you have a very efficient battery charge controller compared with if you have one that's a very very basic item and secondly it also serves to protect you against any environmental harm because you wouldn't want your batteries to blow up or you don't want them to overcharge you don't want to lose your investment you don't want your batteries to go bad very very quickly the battery bank is now connected to the inverter and as i said earlier we are harvesting dc power but all of our appliances in our homes and our businesses are AC appliances. So we need something to convert that DC power and that DC energy to something that is AC compatible. And that is exactly what the inverter does. The inverter allows you to plug into all the energy that you've stored in the battery or to plug in your AC appliances. So your iron is AC, your washing machine, you wash your clothes. It's an AC appliance, your refrigerator is an AC appliance, and therefore you can see how the inverter plays a very, very important role. So those are the four basic items, the panel, it could be one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels, they could be 12 volt panels, they could be 24 volt panels, um, the battery charge controller, controller can be a very simple or very, very advanced piece of equipment, and your battery bank could be one bank, two, two batteries. A uh, bank of four batteries, uh, it could be banks of 12 volt batteries, it could be banks of 24, 24 bank, bank system. And then you have your inverter, and again, that can be a very sophisticated piece of equi equipment, especially if you want to do things like uh, washing your clothes, which have a very high peak rate when it comes to the motors and, and that type of equipment that you find with washing machines. So those are four basic items, and we also added two other bits and pieces. One is a water pump, and you can use the water pump, for example, if you want to wash your car, or you could have a very much more sophisticated water pump, which you could use now to irrigate your crops and your farms and your garden beds and your plants, etc., etc. And at the very top, we have an LED light. And again, everything is powered by the panel, the 25 volt, 25 watt panel. Yeah, okay. So that is basically it. And in terms of the type of renewable energy system you have to choose from, you have a choice of three. You can go fully off grid, which means that you have all you need to have your batteries and the bigger the battery bank then the more capacity you would have, the longer you'll be able to use your batteries until they're reduced from the sun and they're charged back um, from the energy you collect from the sun. Alright? So that's a fully off-grid system, and a fully off-grid system means that you're not dependent whatsoever on Babbitt's light and power. And there are a number of people who actually are fully off-grid and they do not pay any electricity bill. Yeah. So the that's what you fully off-grid, and then you have the grid light system, as I mentioned. That's where you know you're, you do not have a battery bank. You don't need a battery charge controller. You just have an array of panels. You have a very sophisticated grid tied inverter. And you feed right into the battery cell power grid. Uh, the advantage of that is that if you have a, a complete system and you're meeting all the, the needs of your electricity, you would not be paying one penny um, in light. Um, in fact, you could very much end up uh, earning money from battery cell power for the excess capacity that you provide to the company. Yeah. The disadvantage, however, is that when the light and power company goes down, it might be in a storm, it might be some power outage, they may need to have to restore um, some power outage they have and therefore they're going to cut the current. What that means is that your refrigerator too will not have to be, will be off, you, your lights will be off, the television will not be working, your computer will not be working, you will not be able to study. And therefore, another possible option is a mix. 
what we call the best of both worlds, one in which you are tied to the grid, or partially tied to the grid, and one in which you have a battery bank. So again, with the battery bank, um, you have a source of energy that will last depending on how much, how many bank batteries you have, how many panels you have, until it could be one day, two days, three days. But you have a source of power, so it means that when other people's lights are out in the refrigeration, lights are out, plus then the power has cut the, the electricity, you will continue to study, you continue to watch television, you continue on the internet, because you would have the energy that you stored in the batteries, and you'll be using that energy now to meet your energy needs. So those are the three basic items, very things you can do in terms of your renewable energy systems. A fully grid system, a fully off-grid system and a hybrid off-grid on-grid.